By now, everyone knows that APK size is an important factor when it comes to user acquisition. I mean, who wants to wait 30 minutes to download some massive app on a 2G connection, or pay the high data rates required to download that app on a metered network? My name is Colt McCandless, and to keep your app from being one of those data hogs, there's some important tools and tricks that you should keep up your sleeve. At the core to reducing APK size comes the understanding that bloat usually comes from two key factors, resources and code. And since resources can often account for the largest bloat, and is uh, the easiest to fix, we're going to start there. The first and most important thing you need to do is make sure that you're properly using the remove unused resources flag in your Gradle files. Uh, this flag will remove any content that's not being used by your application. Uh, this includes anything that you've forgotten to prune from your tree and resources that have been included in third-party libraries, but your app doesn't use. Secondly, most resource bloat comes from supporting multiple resolutions and screen densities for your app. Uh, I mean, as of Android 4.4, the framework supports uh, LDPI, MDPI, TVDPI, HDPI, XHDPI, XXHDPI, and XXXHDPI. But let's be clear, just because you can support all these densities doesn't mean you should have copies of your assets for each one of them. Uh, see, if you don't have resources for a specific resolution, the framework will rescale an existing resource to fit the bill for you. So if there is no noticeable difference between the resource you're scaling by hand and the framework resized one, you can toss your custom one out. The result is a much leaner APK that has only the resources it needs for distribution. Thirdly, we all know that images account for the largest footprints. So for icons or other small, simple graphics in your app, you might want to take a look at vector drawables instead of PNGs or JPEGs. These are assets that describe the shape of your graphic using XML instead of just raw pixels. The result is that instead of keeping around one version of your drawable for each supported resolution, you instead can use one file and it'll generate the resolution you need at load time. Fourthly, try to reuse resources wherever possible. Uh, Android provides several utilities to modify an existing asset in layout code, which could, you could use to get the look you want without having to include a whole new unique image. Uh, for example, let's say you've got uh, two images that are just rotations of each other. You could get rid of one by just creating a rotate drawable to create the other. Now, while these may sound like small changes, they can yield a significant savings for your APK. For example, the Android framework team was able to use color tint support, uh, then go and replace nine patches with XML shapes, and then replace bitmaps with vector drawables. The result, their APK drawable count shrunk by 80%. Hmm. Now, once you get your assets in a smooth state, it's now time to make sure that your code is as slim as possible. Uh, see, even though code bloat is not as problematic as resources, remember, when you're downloading things on 2G, every bit counts. Now, once again, your first step is to make sure that your use of ProGuard is being done correctly to have code removal. Simply set the minified enabled flag to true in your Gradle settings. This will signal ProGuard to do all the heavy lifting when you want to compile your app. We, uh, we did a video on that if you want to learn more. Next up, try to optimize code which is responsible for generating other code. There's lots of things like enums and protocol buffers which can result in an increased number of methods and classes inside of your dex file, thus causing bloat. As such, make sure to have a keen eye, or in some cases a flamethrower, to tune and optimize this type of code as it can reduce the amount of code that gets generated from it. Finally, take a hard look at libraries you've included in your application. Uh, some libraries, especially those designed for the server or the desktop environments, come with a whole lot of objects and methods that your Android app just doesn't need. Now, to be fair, ProGuard helps solve part of this problem, but it can't fix everything, since some of these libraries can have big internal dependencies that ProGuard just can't remove. Not to mention that for these large libraries, this type of ProGuard optimization can come at a great cost of taking longer to compile. As such, always make sure to try to find a tiny, mobile-friendly, alternative version of the library you need. And if that fails, you could always just extract the functions you need from the library and put it in your own code base if you're willing to do that. Anyhow, the most important in all of this is properly splitting your APK. Uh, see, there's some content that is bundled into your APK, which all users have to download, but only some sort of portion will ever use, like uh, having a small screen device download a high-resolution screen content. To fix this, the Android platform allows you to split content into different APKs based on things like APK levels, 
uh, screen sizes and GPU texture support. This way, devices with specific screen sizes won't receive assets from sizes it won't use. Although, uh, be warned that this does come with a little extra overhead to build and deploy. Oh, and as, uh, as of Android Studio 2.2, there's a really fancy new built-in APK analyzer, which helps you understand the contents and the sizes of different components in your APK. Uh, it gives you direct access to see what's being included, its sizes, and help you figure out what's needed to make them smaller. See, at its core, making smaller APKs makes faster downloads, which makes happier users, which makes happier developers. So make everybody happier by checking out the rest of the Android Performance Patterns videos. And don't forget to ask the tough questions on our Google Plus community. So keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters.